Hello and welcome to the Delphi how-to video series. My name's Steve Jervis and I'm a master tech here at Delphi. Today we're going to show you some practical advice on replacing a ball joint. As an experienced technician you'll already be aware of the fundamentals of replacing ball joints. I'm just going to run through a few of the smaller points. There are different types of ball joints, press on, circle it, bolt on. This one is actually a bolt on. So firstly we must make sure that the vehicle is securely on the ramp at the right height and also personal protection equipment, gloves and possibly even goggles. Okay now I'm checking for wear in the ball joint with the pry bar in this particular case. There's an excessive play in that so we need to change it. I'm just removing the wheel to access the ball joint. Try if you can to work around the brakes to avoid any removal. If you have to remove the caliper, then obviously you'd have to bleed the brakes afterwards, which would create a bigger job. It's worth giving the bolts a spray with penetrating oil, just to make sure that they come loose. Firstly, I'm going to remove the mounting bolts. And crack all three off at the same time. Many of the modern cars have got the first and strut, and they have different types of ball joints. This one in particular is a tapered ball joint, but some have got a pinch bolt. You need to remove the pinch bolt first. Now we can take the tapered nut off the ball joint. On this particular model, I've had to undo the hub nut just to give it a little bit more clearance to get the nut out. Now we can take the ball joint out. So now we're just gonna check the wishbone, the mounting holes, just to make sure they're not cracked and they're not worn. They all appear okay. Okay, now we can fit the ball joint introduce it to the wishbone. You must make sure that you use the fitting kit that comes with it and make sure that you torque tighten all the bolts to the correct manufacturer specifications. So now we just need to lever the lower arm to get the ball joint into the correct position. Okay now I'm doing up the ball joint. You must make sure you torque tighten the, the base bolts. Final job now is to torque tighten the wheels to manufacturer specifications. Now the suspension is settled, we can recheck the steering alignment and that's job done. So that's how you replace a ball joint. For more practical advice and how-to videos, be sure to visit our website, delphiautoparts.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>